In this episode, we shove off for a big passage. We have some issues, like a sliding and then a thud. And we get into a little husband-wife bickering match. <laughs> Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. We heard a weird sound as we started pulling away after weighing anchor. It was almost like a like a sliding and then a thud. So we re-anchored and now we're checking the under the boat. We'll probably end up in the water. A little unsettling. We're about to take our passage to. Alright, ready? Babe? Yeah? Uh, go ahead and go over there and just put it in the idle drive for about three seconds to put it in neutral. Okay. see anything so we'll go again and we'll see if we hear anything else okay I will go way anchor one more time we checked everything and it looked good so we're gonna pull the anchor again and head on out of here on the boat when we're anchoring and unanchoring I'm usually on the bow and Jeremiah is at the helm although we both know how to work each other's position this is where I'm primarily at during this process. So anchoring or unanchoring twice in one day is a big job for me because the bridle can be a little tough at times. She's a Mac Daddy bridle so I have to struggle and fight her sometimes. That's alright. I do enjoy knowing that when we drop the anchor and we're set and we're good that she'll hold us in place so I don't mind the little struggle that she gives me or the little nicks on my hands. And also it's a good workout, and if you know me, I love to work out. So it just adds to it, building muscle over here, and uh, communicating with my husband. You can always work on those communication skills. Think it was just like a dolphin or a turtle? I don't know, everything seems we're working okay. It was like a slide and a thud. I thought, you know, maybe like a prop shaft or something, but everything looks good. Might have been, it might have been, uh, or maybe I, I put a couple diesel cans on this side, maybe one just slid and maybe settled, but um, it sounded like it came over there, but I don't know. But it seems okay, so we're gonna go with it. We're heading past Necker Island right now, and then it's just open ocean after that. We'll drop off, get deep, and we're gonna turn probably to about 50 degrees, so that the wind is at 60 degrees, we'll see. But, we're gonna do hopefully a nice sail about eight hours north, and then we're gonna tack around sunset, and we're gonna uh, sail southeast. So, should be good. Should be a nice long passage. You ready for it? I am. I already pre made banana bread for breakfast, sandwiches for lunch. And then in the crock pot, I already have it set up to not skid with my gecko strips that you got me for Christmas. And I'm going to put that in the crock pot tonight, and then we'll put it over some mashed potatoes. Nice. Falling? Yeah, I've already buttered the bread and everything. Reese is working on some Play-Doh. He's just taking a little break, sitting out there, my little man. And here is our setup. Strawberries and banana bread for breakfast. The sandwiches for lunch are in the fridge, staying cold. Crock pot for the beef stew tonight. I already buttered the bread. I have my bowls out, my spoons, salt and pepper, fully prepared. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, we got movies playing to keep Reese busy. And then we're about to raise the mainsail. Yeah, I'm gonna get just a little bit of space here, and then we'll turn into the wind. We're already at like 25 degrees, and then uh, we'll raise it up and do 
do our, I'm gonna do it right after we get through these, it's called the Invisibles. And then uh, that way we can just tack north and go. So we're not letting the sail beat as we're going into yeah. the wind. Bella, you ready for this? I can tell, you've ripped your bow halfway out. There's Bella's bed, she stays out here with us. Necker Island. We've seen you many times. You are quite beautiful. It's Richard Branson's place. Pretty awesome. I like the three palm trees that he put out here on the beach. Yeah, they're nice. I wonder if they're real. It was time to raise the sails. Let's see how this goes. Happy wet. Yeah. 
northeast. Alright. So we'll probably go northeast until sunset. This is a little bit more of a comfortable ride. Yeah, Let's see how this place out here. I want to maintain five knots, so you know, we're not going to get that with just the sails. We had some squalls form on top of us during the night and the seas got rough, but soon the morning came and we could see Saba Island in the distance. St. Kitts was just south of that and we were excited to get to anchor. Through the fields of our pots, feelings always keeping us close but a strange now. Closer. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably more of one of our more intense sales. You weighed anchor and ran out of St. Kitts. Nice. Cheers. Make it your fail. Looking for hot lava rocks. Yeah. Black rocks from the volcano. What'd you think of those monkeys? There he is. He's looking at me. So what do we decide? Dress or skirt? But what kind of fish? Awesome sail. Oh yeah. One of eight monkeys are oh you know that wants oh. to get their back. Oh. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.